So as a pastor, your main obligation duty is to get souls to heaven. You know, so long. I mean, hopefully they become saints, but so long as they get to heaven. And um, I don't know of anything greater than anybody could ever do than to consecrate themselves to Jesus for our Blessed Mother Mary. Um, as St. Louis de Montfort says, you know, there's no surer, safer, swifter path to the heart of Jesus than through the heart of his mother. And so as a pastor, to lead souls to our Lord Jesus Christ and to our Lady. When I got here, and, and anywhere, I'm, I'm only been ordained for five years. And so I'm a pastor, a new pastor, been here for two and a half years now. And one of the things, anywhere I go, I would like to do is to get perpetual adoration started, um, where people come before our Lord and give their hearts to Him. And I came here, and after about a year and a half, I just thought, oh my gosh, when is it ever going to happen? I, I'm looking like five years down the road. And all of a sudden, it was right after Christmas, right before the feast day, um, on, the, on January 1st, Mary, Mother of God, I say to Our Lady, I say, Mary, this parish is named after you. It's a presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And I said, Mary, how do I bring souls to your son? What do I do? And in that moment, I thought, I believe Our Lady told me, have them consecrate themselves to me. And so we did. We started, we read True Devotion to Mary, St. Louis de Montfort's work. And at the end of that, um, finishing on March 25th, the Feast of the Annunciation, people consecrate themselves to our Blessed Mother. I thought, I put it on the bulletin, I made an announcement at Sunday Mass. I'm thinking, you know, maybe 10 people or 20 people would come. The first night for the talk, there were 250 people. Close to 300 people consecrated themselves to our Lady that March 25th. Within two weeks, perpetual adoration was started in my parish. And it's continued since then. We're coming up, um, we're at about six months. Um, and more and more people are flocking. Daily Mass attendance is up. You know, if people are coming to me telling me stories of grace that they've received through time of prayer for our Lord. So Our Lady, she works very, very swiftly.